Okay, here he is, everybody. His name's Isaac Emerson. How can you even call yourselves musicians? I told you to never do that again! On this episode of AMM, Where Are They Now? We follow the lives of three former Granite Falls High School students. Between the year of 2013 and 2016, often known as the golden year of AMM, these students change the lives of kids throughout the high school, often in strange and disturbing ways. As we follow them into their future, let's take a look into their past and see where these film legends got their start. You want cookies? Oh. Yeah. yeah, cookies! Yeah, cookies! I have the peanut butters. Four dollars over there, right now! They're selling them. They're making them dance against their will. You hear that, Mr. Johnson? There's a violation in Zone D4! Recently, we have received footage of these three as they try to pursue college in some place called, uh... Uh, Bellingham. Let's see if the anticipation lives up to the hype. Well, I guess the biggest change between now and high school is... Well, in high school, they never really, like, portrayed me correctly. They just showed the weirdest parts of my day, when I would, like, find myself alone in an office with pickles. I love pickles! I just want to say that my life is just as normal as everybody else's. I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. Hey, is that my toothbrush? I've been using this since September. Huh. I water my plants. my roommate's hair. It's all just normal, everyday stuff. A lot has changed. Some time has passed. I think that, personally, I'm a much more positive person now. I think I've found a way to really channel my energy. Is that Rick? in a manner that is uh, just elevated from my previous aggression. You need to calm down. This is my show! Is that enough hate for you? Yeah, you happy with that, huh? I think that I'm really better off now than I used to be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Good morning, Granite Falls High School. My name is Michael Turpin. And I'm Max Beaver here with the warning video announcement for Friday, May 19th, 2017. Today is another one hour early release. Now let's hop on over to see what our Grand Now team has for us. Here comes the sun, doo doo doo. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Attention seniors, scholarship night is on Tuesday, May 30th at 7 p.m. Our track team is playing at Bellingham tonight at 4.30 p.m. Make sure to go and support our Tiger athletes. Honor Society will be inducting new members on Monday at 7 p.m. Driver's Ed starts on Monday right after school. Go see Mr. Hahn or Mr. Helgeson for details. Wow, that was just super duper. Thank you for that information. So friend, amigo, colleague, bro, how do you feel about being in suspension? Well, I feel like it's the most terrifying place a person can be, really. Well, apparently a group of seniors attempted senior skip day but ended up in the wrong situation. Oh, are you talking about that one crew with that creepy Luke dude? Yes, I am. Let's go see how they're holding up. Oh boy, we've got ourselves some senior skippers here. Great. I'm gonna run to the office right now and grab some packets for you to work on. I'll be back in three hours. Hey, Christian. What? Short one. Ah, uh, what? Dude, how do you get the directions mixed up to Flower World and local routes? Come on, it's, it's Google Maps. They can't give you the thing wrong. Hey, everyone makes mistakes. I mean, it's not like you wanted to go there. Yeah, like why would I want to go to local routes? 
Sorry, man. I that's my so that's my bad. Yeah. Did that guy go to senior skip day? I don't remember. I don't even think he's a senior. I heard he's the guy that made Guessman the way he is today. I heard he can like shoot webs and climb over all the walls and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's Spider-Man. Wait, really? Wait, where'd he go? You do remember me from your nightmares. You're not Dinwiddie. I know. You fear me. Good. You should. I am death, faceless and all-consuming as the void. Tremble in despair, grovel and beg, but I will come for you. Day and night, I will make every living moment of your lives miserable. Until each one of you is an empty husk, wasting away from the sands of time. On three, we pull for the door. One, two, three. What are you guys doing out of your seats? There is no one there. I can't believe you clowns are actually going to graduate. Go sit down. Unfortunately, class, the printer has run out of ink. So you're going to have to read or something. Wow, that was just so thrilling. I really hope those guys get their lives figured out. I do too, Michael. Now, underclassmen, including juniors, there's a fundraiser going on for the class of 2018 where you can buy a bunch of Hershey Kisses and have them sent to seniors on the day of Spring Fling. You can buy them for $2 each and I encourage all of you to participate in it. Now, when we left off in 5150, the sheriff was captured, that one foreign spy chick, and uh, that one sheriff deputy guy? Well, yikes, yeah. Let's go see how they're doing. Go, 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 Sheriff! I got breaks it! I got the contacts this morning! Did you die? Is this you dying? No, don't die on me, boy! Take care of my stupid brother! No! I'm Not gonna yet. cut you up like a uh, Thanksgiving ham, uh, boy! Uh, well, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Not only do I have that filthy sheriff, I got his new partner. This is going better than I expected. Well, I've heard a lot about you, mister. You scoundrel. What exactly have you heard about me? Well, you were the sheriff's old partner. You ran over a civilian and got fired for it. <laughs> you think that I ran over that poor fool? Sheriff, you're too funny. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Well, sheriff. D don't, don't listen to him, Dad, please. Now, before I make you squeal like a little pig, do you want to tell the truth to this young sap? I've been waiting two years for this, and now all my planning is finally paying off. Remember when I told you about the accident that got this low laugh fired? I said it was his fault. He was fired on the spot, and he blamed me for that ever since. Well, it, it was me. It was me who forgot my contacts. He wanted to take over driving, but I, I was too darn stubborn to let him. I, I told the chief that he did it, but, and he believed me somehow. But. Well, Sheriff, is this true? Yeah, it's the truth. Take a good hard look at the face of a murderer and a liar. <clears throat> Hardly knew her. Sorry. Well, would you look at the time? Looks like we spent a little bit too much time talking and not enough time torturing. No. And I think I'm going to start with you, Deputy, because you're the prettier of the two, and I can't seem to help myself. No, not the dip. He's a good kid. When I'm done with you, they won't be able to tell the difference between you and a chicken fried steak. No! T take mine and get instead. I'm the one you want. No! Hey, have you guys ever seen Pulp Fiction? You're going to want to get this one. <laughs> no, not the mustache! Oh, I'm saying it! Well, unfortunately, guys, that's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next time. Have an extremely fun and safe weekend. Um, yeah, no, I, ever since I moved up to Bellingham, you know, it's been really nice not, you know, walking through Granite Falls High School, everyone knew my name, but, uh, you know, no, it's nice being here. Uh, no one, hold on, it's probably, you know, some girl, uh, mom. Hey, mom, how's it going? I don't know, I mean, there's just something really, really wrong with this place, mostly. 
I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's haunted. Who's in here? I'm taking a shower. Get out of here. Thought it was going to start. Close the door. You let all the heat out. <laughs> see any ghosts in here? Nah, man. I haven't seen anything. Been in, in here since two. Alright. Don't you have anything better to do? Nah, man. Homework's done. I look around all the time and I can't find anything. But I'm pretty sure there's got to be someone in the house when I'm not looking or something. I don't know. Do you guys hear the voices? What voices? On the other side of the wall? Yeah. House. We live in a duplex. That's our neighbors. They share a house with us. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Huh? No. Nope, still don't. Still don't have a girlfriend. Thank you for asking, though. What? Oh, I'm 19. Even if I did, I, you wouldn't have grandchildren by now. Wouldn't you want me to at least wait until I have a stable car? I know that's all you want for Mother's Day, but I have a surprise for you. Yeah, you're coming up to see me, right? You're not? Mom. You know I haven't done laundry in three weeks because you haven't been here in three weeks. This I've been wearing the same pair of jeans since then. Yeah, 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 maybe this isn't why I have a girlfriend, huh? Maybe it's your fault. Oh, whatever. Just, uh, you put the money in my bank account, right? No, I already spent it all. No, I need more. What? Okay. You know what? Next time I'm talking to the dad, alright? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>